So my cousin and I have looked around for a uh, fish farm all over the place, including overseas, and ended up buying an abandoned one. Uh, it had been sitting dormant for about six or seven years uh, in far north Queensland. So just giving you a little bit of an idea of what it was like when we took it over and uh, what the uh, cleanup process and rejig is like. And uh, yeah, give you a, a bit of a look at a different kind of adventure. So this was where paddle wheels go to die. And uh, when you consider that a uh, full setup for one of these is 800 bucks each now, they used to be um, 500 bucks. You can uh, see how long this place was operating at uh, full noise. So there's a couple of spares here. There's all the motors and um, gearboxes and, and paddles over there and uh, dead ones in here. So. so this is the old pumps which used to be up the top down into some valves down the bottom down here which would then pump up into a small tank here down into that pond down there then drain out into a drain and then be pumped up over there. So we're putting in the new pumps, which are submersible rather than being up the top and then into here. And then all the new pipe work is going to go and feed out to the farm. So it'll be much, much more efficient. So that's this afternoon's progress. All these pipes welded together. We're setting up another one for tomorrow in the machine. Plenty more to do. So what do I mean by do? Well, basically the pipes are clamped into a fixture. You can see that we um, use the digger to align it and put things under. That fixture that you're looking at has a grinder that goes in and gets the two faces so that they're parallel and perfectly smooth. And there's hydraulic ram on the right-hand side, moves it in. Then we replace the grinding machine head with a heater. The heater element heats up the plastic and that's the heater there being pushed together. Once that uh, comes out, then the two melted parts are pushed together. Let cool, that's it. Laying a bit of pipe. I say a bit. Going. Going. 600 mil pipe, it's all welded together. It's been pulled up out of the welder. And, uh, it's pretty strong. Alrighty, so pretty big changes here since the first time I showed you the water handling system. So everything's all set up now. This is where the water is going to be pumped into from submersible pumps, pump once up into here, then it'll have one 450 mil pipe system going down into the system for all the ponds on the right hand side. So those six ponds will be fed that way. Then this 450 mil pipe goes down and joins into the watering system for these 10 ponds in the middle. This 600 mil pipe goes down goes to its uh, 90 degree section, goes up to another 90 degree section and goes out for the remaining 20. So that's going to completely change the water handling system here and man, what a job it was to weld all these pipes together. So uh, yeah, it's been, been a long week and a half doing it, but uh, now it's all ready just to be put in the ground and then we get away from this system, which was, is a uh, centrifugal pump and go to this type of system, which is a submersible pump. And, uh, you know, they can go down deep where the, there's good salty water and that'll get the uh, farm absolutely percolating along. So.
So you think this side's been affected by the crocodile? Yeah. This guy used to feed better than the other Oh, really? Healthy big boy. the video from uh, Daniel's drone the bottom right one is uh, from right early in the piece and the uh, bigger top left one is how the farm is now and you'll see a big difference between the two um, the bottom one is just showing <coughs> the um, same thing same view at the moment Looking out on the farm, you can see it's all overgrown. There are actually trees in the middle of all the ponds. And uh, the uh, big settling pond at the um, start of the video on the right-hand side there is a uh, settling pond for, for the uh, outflow. So um, as you can see from the main one at the top left, the farm's all been cleaned up. Uh, Chris luckily has all the equipment to do it and uh, did an amazing job cleaning everything up. The two ponds that you're looking at straight ahead there on the top one now with the little shed in between are the two ponds that have got fish in them now. So they were being prepared at the time of this drone shot and the ponds on the other side are um, settling ponds for the um, outflow treatment. Down the bottom right you can see just how overgrown everything was and uh, you know the place was basically abandoned. They just had a caretaker who didn't do anything with it for um, six or seven years after it uh, shut down, after being converted from being a prawn farm to being a uh, set up for barra. So uh, yeah, it's uh, undergone huge changes and now we're doing the water handling infrastructure changes to, uh, to match it so that it's going to have the ability to get the water out of the um, river which is now uh, visible there on the uh, on the screen so if you put your pumps down deeper into the river you can actually get good salty water and um, that's what you're looking for plus uh, you have one shallower so you can change to uh, fresher water on the um, on the low tides um, so um, right there is where I showed you the, the um, pumps are going to go. So you can see that there's no pipes or anything there at this stage and there's no uh, dam. So right there you can see the inlet. So the thing that looks like a swimming pool where the vehicle's pulling up to now used to go into the um, settling pond on the right hand side, then go into a ditch and be pumped up in to the water system for the whole farm and it just wasn't efficient because you've spent the energy to get the water up high and then you just let it go back down to sea level and um, then you're pumping it up just with four little pumps. So there's ponds out here in the shot now that have literally never had water in them. So they're plastic lined, they've got the outlets and everything there and um, they've literally never had enough water flow to have water in them. So we've been uh, slashing them and, and um, 
rehabilitating them all and getting them all uh, all ready to go. So you can see we've got our work cut out for us. There's uh, there's plenty to do, plenty to keep us occupied, and um, slowly but surely uh, we'll uh, we'll get there and and uh, get it sorted. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's about where we are at this stage with it. Um, coming along really well. I'll do a bit of an update when they um, do a uh, uh, you know uh, upgrade of the pumps and and stuff. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see the the water handling system in in action. But uh, yeah, that's what adventure riders do when they're not riding on an adventure. They're uh, still looking around for uh, other adventures and. Over the course of a week and a half, I became an expert in pipe welding and uh, happy to say that hopefully I'll never do it again now that I know how to do it. It's a tedious, boring, hot, monotonous job, but you've got to do it and do it right. Well, if you do it right, as you can see from the length of those pipes being pulled around, you can get them to 97% the strength of the pipe. That's um, 16 mil thick, 60 mil 600 mil pipe so um pretty strong so anyway that's it and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see some more of these videos uh there's a couple more coming up and a few more uh, bits and pieces so uh, yes yeah, stay tuned thanks for watching cheers